Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So we continue with chapter 3, which is the field attack stability and destabilization. Okay, previously in chapter 2, I did mention about the effects of the LaTeX constituent into a LaTeX field attack stability. So here, I will elaborate more on this stabil uh, stability and destabilization of field attack. So uh, basically, in this chapter, we only cover uh, three subchapter, which is the factor affecting the ability, the stability of fill attack, the conservation of fill attack, and finally the isoelectric point of fill attacks. So the lesson outcome for this chapter: first one to identify the factor affecting stability of natural rubber fill attacks, to define and illustrate conservation terms, and finally. To describe the isoelectric point of natural rubber field attacks. Okay, some introductions. Rubber particles are spherical and vary size from 0 0.02 to 3 micrometer. It can be uh, up to 6 micrometer. This is the range of the rubber particle size. The specific gravity of rubber hydrocarbon uh, in range of 0 0.92, whereas a serum is 1.02. So, because of these different gradients of the uh, specific gravity, it will be expected the separation in this case of creaming must occur. So, because uh, the serum is denser, which is water, con consists of water, and the rubber hydrocarbon slightly uh, less denser than the serum, it will be float on the surface of the uh, field attack. However, Visual inspection of fresh latex shows that homogeneity is maintained for several hours and this stability may be account for the considering the colloidal and ionic characteristic of rubber particle. So, what happens here? The stability can be maintained for a few hours after you tap or the fresh latex and eventually this separation can be observed. Okay, so this is what we want to elaborate more in this chapter. Okay. Uh, the latex, uh, okay, here is an illustration, okay. The latex is well shaken with three or four times its volume of water and then allowed to stand. A separation into a layer will take place which does affect the pur uh, purification of dispersion. Uh, here you can see the uh, white area is uh, uh, RH3, rubber hydrocarbon, and the bottom layer will be a serum. So, uh, the stability. Factor affecting the stability of field attacks. Uh, this is very important. There are three factors that affecting the stability of the field attack. The first one is Brownian motion. Second one, electrical repulsion. The third one is physical buffering. Please bear in mind this is very important for this chapter. So I will go through each of the factors affecting the stability of field attacks. The first one is Brownian motion. The, it is due to the force of rubber particle itself. Okay, in which a colloidal size particle are sufficiently large to overcome normal gravitational force and hence preventing creaming. So, because of this pronoun motion, it avoids from creaming or the separation of rubber and the serum. But the stability is maintained due to size of equal phase is larger than part rubber particles. Therefore, it can prevent the rubber particle to collide from each other. So, because of the equal phase is larger than rubber particle, so it's also uh, promoting the Brownian motion of the rubber hydrocarbon. Other way to prevent collision is by the electrical repulsion and physical buffering. This is the nature characteristic of the latex itself. So, we will go through these other two uh, factors affecting the stability of the field latex. Before that, what is Brownian motion? I think it's very familiar for all of you what is Brownian motion or in other words, in Bahasa, we call the Pergerakan Sejarawak. It is random motions of the uh, RHC, rubber, hydro, uh, RHC uh, rubber hydrocarbon particles or uh, to move in the equal solution. Uh, so, we, can, we can't predict uh, the, the motions of the directions of the particle in an uh, equal solution. Okay, the second one is electrical repulsion. What is electrical repulsion? It is, it is due to the an ionic or negatively charged ion surface condition of rubber hydrocarbon particle. Okay, uh, previous chapter I did mention that uh, 
Rubber itself is being coated by lipids and protein. A thin layer of lipids and the outer layer should be a protein. This protein layer is negatively charged. As we know, the same charges will repel to each other. Here, the illustration where the rubber coated by the negatively charge of the protein. As it uh, contact near to each other, it will uh, repel to each other and avoid uh, from agglomeration and eventually keep the stability of the uh, natural rubber latex itself. Okay, so uh, this is the illustration. The repulsion and negatively charged coated the uh, RHC or rubber polymer itself. The third one is the physical buffering. This is due to the absorption of hydration layer. Okay, the absorption is a specific manner occurs since water is polar, ma polar, polar ma material. As we know, the serum is made of water. Its polarity lead to the formation of nearly regular three-dimensional honeycomb-like configuration, strongly attracted to rubber hydrocarbon particle. Okay, and the ionic surface characteristics are preserved. As we know, that rubber uh, lipid and protein layer is negatively charged, it will attract the hydrogen, uh, which is the positively charged. As the much of the high, uh, water molecule uh, attracted to the surface of the outer layer of the rubber hydrocarbon, it will promote the three-dimensional honeycomb-like configuration, okay, and it promote more on in a latex stability, okay. Next, uh, we finish about the uh, stability of latex. There is three uh, important uh, uh, factor that affecting. The first one is body motion. The second one is the uh, 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 electrical repulsion. The third one is physical buffering. Now we go to destabilization. How? The latex become destabilized after we know that latex is stable after few hours after tapping. Uh, tadi saya ada cakap sebenarnya latex ni dia stabil tetapi hanya beberapa jam uh, after tapping. Uh, tapi apa factor? What factor? What actually the chemical reaction occur during the process in make up it destabilized after few hours? Okay. Conservation of fill attacks or the, the destabilization of fill attack may generally be termed conservation. So, conservation is destabilization. Conservation is used to describe phase changing in colloidal system by additions of a chemical reagent or conservants or a physical reagent. Okay, here we know that latex in colloidal system by addition of chemical agent or the physical agent it will produce a destabilization of the field attacks itself. Okay. The result of conservation include first, the agglomeration of particle, which is reversible. The second one is flocculation, the irreversible process. Then finally, the coagulation, bulk separation of one of the components. Here, take a look on this illustration. This is the stable uh, system. The top image, the stable systems of the uh, natural rubber latex. Okay, so we have uh, rubber particles in a uh, equal solutions of the serums. Okay, we take uh, the uh, on the left uh, screen first. It will appear on the flocculation. Flocculation. The flocculation tends to uh, what you call. Uh, the rubber particle tend to adhere or to attract to each other after the conservation occur, and eventually it will coagulate. And because of uh, the rubber coagulation become denser, it will produce a sedimentation and produce a phase separation. Whereas other other uh, behavior that may occur, it will produce a sedimentation. Uh, here. The separations of uh, serums and rubber will uh, prominently uh, visible, and because of that, the small gap between the rubber particle will produce a flocculation process, and finally, it will be coagulated, and the denser material will be uh, produce the separations of rubber and serums.
Jarum itself. The colloidal philatelic system contains rubber particles which are negatively charged. I did mention again and again, it is negatively charged. The energy required to overcome this electrostatic repulsion effects and bring the particle together is known as the zeta potential. Okay, if the zeta potential is reduced or overcome, conservation occur. So you need to have a uh, good zeta potential to uh, maintain the stability of field attack. Just an illustration. For the protein of natural rubber latex, there is a point which the NH2 and the COOH species are at maximum ionization. For example, both are equally ionized. Okay, the net charge uh, it is uh, the difference between positive and negative species is known as the zeta or the Z potential. At this point, it's obviously zero. When it's balanced between positive and negative, it will be zero. Okay, protein net charge is zero. Okay, uh, <clears throat> this point occur around pH five here. If you can see the curve here, the stability at five which we call the isoelectric point. The isoelectric point positive and negative charge are both present in equal amount. So when they have uh, equal amounts of positively charged and negatively charged, they will stay at the isoelectric point, which is at pH 5. Okay, value of pH at which the colloidal particle remains stationary in electrical field. The isoelectric point for hemoglobin cis protein range from 4.5, so the stability is here, 4.5 around here to 8 here. Okay, the major proportion occur around the pH 5. So here's some note: the isoelectric point of pH at which the molecule carry no net electrical charge or the electrically neutral aesthetical means. Okay, here at 5. Okay. The protein is amphoteric nature, the sweeter ion of ammonia, uh, amino and carboxyl groups. Okay. Now, why it eventually coagulates? Okay, the coagulation of field attack. The field attack spontaneously coagulates within 4 to 24 hours after taping due to the acid development and lutoid rupture. So, I did mention the latex stable for a few hours up to 4 to 24 hours and eventually it will be coagulate, auto coagulate. Okay. What actually happened? It is because of the acid development and the lutoid rupture. How acid can be developed and why the lutoid can be ruptured. The growth of bacteria mainly of uh, of carbohydrate also uh, protein and lipid lead to acid development. Okay, as we know the rubber hydrocarbon is protected by thin layer of lipid and then the outer layer is protein. It promotes the growth of bacteria. Bacteria will try to attack this protein layer. As it becomes thin and thin, it will produce a byproduct uh, of acid development in the equal solution itself. And then the lutoid rupture leads to the release of cationic B serum and the metal ion itself. Latex therefore provide no not only the right nutrient but also the tropical country near ideal condition for the growth of microorganisms that leads to coagulation. Okay, not only the tropical uh, uh, conditions is suitable for the cultivation of uh, Chivia brasiliensis or Pocot Geta, but it also promote a good environment for the growth of microorganisms. This is why the latex eventually uh, we coagulate by their uh, auto acid development and the lutoid rupture. Lutoid damage in latex exudings from the rubber tree has been associated with the onset of the latex vessel plaging and the subsequent cessations of flow. The commonly held composition that lutoid damage and by inference latex vessel plaging is most intense at the beginning and the flow when the tree is tapped is re-examined. The damage to lutoids in latex collection at various intervals after the tapping and just prior of flow cessation was assessed by the appearance of the bottom fraction of centrifuge latex and the bursting index of lutoids. Okay, eventually uh, you will learn about the 
certification effects of the lattice to produce a high concentrated lattice. And this also promoting the lutite rupture and eventually uh, promoting the coagulation. I think that's all for this chapter. Before I leave you uh, and continue with chapter 4, there is some wise word from me. Here, I always uh, said to students, if you study to remember, eventually you will forget. But if you study to understand, eventually you will remember. Please bear in mind, study to remember. Okay? So, uh, by then, uh, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and I see you again uh, uh, for next chapter. Thank you.